You guys know what's so great about March Madness? Any team can get hot at the right time and go on a run. And speaking of getting hot at the right time, that is absolutely the case for this week's SOCON tournament and Mercer men's and women's basketball. Both teams heading to Asheville, North Carolina for the tourney. The brackets are official for the men's and women's tournaments beginning on Thursday. The ladies, your number four overall seed. They drop fifth seeded East Tennessee State in the first round. That game will be played on Thursday at 545. Mercer finishing eight and six in the SOCON, but the Bears also winners of four of their last five. Coach Susie Gardner knows that needs to continue, though, if her team wants a shot at winning the program's fifth SOCON tourney title this week. We can't have a weak link. You know, we can't have one player hurting us on defense or one player hurting us on offense. You've got to pull your weight and do your part. The other part that I think is going to be key is our rebounding. Pat Summit said offense sells tickets, defense wins games, rebounding wins championships. And we're at the championship phase of our season. All right, for the men's team, they're the eight seed and will face the Citadel in the 8-9 play-in game on a Friday at 5 p.m. Do not let that seed fool you. Mercer, 8-10 in conference play, but also winning four of its last five games. The Bears also split with the Citadel in the regular season. They beat the Bulldogs in making it back on February 21st. Nothing like tourney time for a group clicking at the right time. We went through a little up and down. Uh, a little bit throughout the season, and, and I commend them on staying together uh, and continuing to work every day uh, because a lot of teams it's gone south on. For us, it has not. Have, have we had some downs? Absolutely. Uh, but that happens. You can't dwell on it. You can control what you can, and our guys have controlled their attitudes and their effort at a high, high level here. All right, lastly, down in Florida at spring training. Only so much you can take away from these games right now, but one of the few things that should actually count the starting pitching and another quality start from the Braves. A.J. Smith Shaver today, two and two thirds innings with five strikeouts. How about a home run from Matt Olson in the first inning? That thing went 418 feet. The Bravos lost to the Twins 5-4. Still no update on Ronald Acuna Jr., who had his knee examined today in L.A. after an MRI revealed some irritation there. The team announced they will not have an update until tomorrow. All right, that does it for sports. We're back after this.